Welcome back to First Move. Gliding around on wheels, guided by facial recognition technology and gaining trust with a friendly voice. These robots are doing the work that humans sometimes can't during this pandemic, getting close up with COVID patients and even connecting them with loved ones via a built-in tablet. As the CEO says, these robots are bringing humanity to hospitals. Balaji Vishwanathan heads up India's Inventor Robotics and he joins us now. Balaji, fantastic to have you on the show. Just explain what these robots are capable of, because when I was watching them online and reading about it, I was totally blown away. Uh, thanks, Julia. Good morning to you. These robots are uh, companion robots, and they, they work as medical assistants in a couple of environments. The goal is to be able to uh, provide healthcare access in multiple locations and reduce the risk that the, many of the medical workers face. So these robots converse with the patients. We have a lot of conversational intelligence in the robot. And it, it speaks with the entire body, including its eyes and, uh, and the body. And then it, uh, then it has multiple diagnostic equipments on it, including stethoscope and uh, pulse oximeters, thermometers, to help the remote physician do a much better diagnosis. We call it as an avatar for the uh, physicians. Wow, so these robots can actually check vital signs. I mean, we're just showing a, an example here of someone perhaps entering a hospital. So if you have a patient that's got COVID, just even just doing that initial screen with a patient protects the healthcare workers. Absolutely. Mm, it's fascinating. Okay, talk to me about the robot Mitra, because I believe Mitra effectively roams free and recognizes doctors and recognizes patients using facial recognition technology. Absolutely. So it, it uh, asks for permission uh, to take a picture and then it, uh, it uh, recognizes the patient, collects their information, including a lot of insurance information and so on. And then it, uh, it then asks them a series of questions. So let's say they are, they're complaining of, uh, like, let's say, a headache and a throat pain. We'll be asking them a series of questions to identify uh, what could be the potential uh, doctor we, could, we should connect to. And then it also uh, uses its vitals collection and pushes them all into an electronic health record system for the physician to remotely see the patient and then make a call whether they should bring the patient in or, or give, the, uh, give the prescription right there. So that's a, that's a key portion of uh, these robots. And Mitra means companion. Um, so it's a, it's a great yeah. companion in that sense. What are the doctors in the in the hospitals where you're using these saying and, and what do the patients say? Because it takes some getting used to, surely. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and both of them, uh, it, it, it takes uh, some getting used to. For for uh, many patients, it is uh, like, you know, what's going on? Like, you know, it's a, it's a very, very different uh, uh, thing from what they are being used to. Uh, like you know, visiting decades uh, of, of a hospital. So, so some patients they have a initial intimidation thing, so that it takes some time to get used to. While others, they actually uh, like forget that they are in a hospital. They actually cheer up and and start getting into deeper conversation with the with the hospital. So, it, it, uh, so it, the the perception is, is is quite wide, and we are trying to uh, make it uh, more and more easier for those who feel uh, intimidated because of it's a new technology to to get uh, uh, more acclimatized to the robot. And physician yeah. side also. So again, they are trying to figure out how do we better use it because it's a brand new technology for most physicians. So in in both sense, it takes some some uh, getting used to, uh, and that's true for any technology. I'm sure it's not long before the selfies uh, get started, start to be taken. Um, talk to me about data privacy, because one of the things that struck me there as you were talking, and as this data is being collected and fed through to various systems, how do you protect people's data? Absolutely. Very, very important uh, question. And uh, we are HIPAA compliant and we go through multiple rigorous standards that the US uh, and, and various governments uh, set. So these data are securely collected and the, and the robot also asks for permission before it does anything, including facial recognition and tells them what it is going to do. And this data is securely used only for the uh, hospital purposes and, and, and uh, uh, nothing else. And, and these live in a server uh, encrypted. And so that um, there is there is very little chance of it getting uh, misused anywhere because it, it uh, the whole thing uh, uh, lies on trust. 
and uh, and and this thing from the patient. So of course, uh, privacy has been one of the key things that we have been working on. Talk to me about cost too. What does a meter cost, and how quickly does it take to build one? Um, so the cost varies uh, uh, from uh, like depending on the volumes and and so on. Um, so it, it can be somewhere in the range of uh, seven hundred dollars a month uh, to about a thousand dollars a month is a is a typical. We call it as a robot as a service. So these robot workers are are hired by hospitals uh, in in that sense. And um, so we are kind of like slowly ramping up our production. At this point, it takes about three days to make a mitra. Um, we are trying to cut down the time even more and trying to get into economies of scale this year. Wow. So it, robot as a service, you rent a robot. So you just pay the $700 to $1,000 a month. Or do you have to pay a cost up front as well? Absolutely. It's about a $3,000 upfront a cost for setup and so on. So it, it works like hiring a, a new worker to your team. So th this Mitra is, is a part of a team of a medical assistants and, and nurses. And very quickly, how much interest are you getting? I'm sure it was tough to sell to the healthcare sector initially, and now I'm sure you're being overwhelmed. What kind of interest are you seeing? And obviously you're doing Absolutely. it in India, but are you hearing from elsewhere in the world too? Absolutely. And uh, in fact, we could not make it fast enough. Right now we are selling in five countries, including Australia, Singapore, and, and uh, uh, in UAE. And before the pandemic, uh, while the physicians and hospitals recognize the problem, uh, but they were not sure um, how much the patients would accept. So, so the, it was going a bit slower, uh, primarily because they were worried about patients' perception. But after the pandemic hit, uh, patients were actually more okay dealing with many of these uh, this thing because it cuts down their wait time and also gives them a quick access. So patients were getting more okay and that means uh, the hospitals were also getting on board uh, quite, uh, quite quickly. Fantastic. Alaji, great to have you on the show. Keep us up to date with progress. CEO of Invento Robotics there. Thank you for your work. You're watching Fast Move? Stay with us.